I got my zero turn put up in the barn right now, so I got to do some work on it. This front tire here is flat. That was one of the new ones that I bought when I bought the machine. When this thing was new, the valve stems were sticking out way too far. And on the other one, uh, I ran up against something and it sheared it off. So the tire was ruined, unless you can put a tube in it. I've still got it, but I'll probably never use it. This one went flat. I don't know why. Um, I thought something was wrong with the valve stem, but I'll, once I get it off, I'll be able to see a little better. But I'm, I've got two brand new tires that I'm going to put on. This one is the original tire that came on the machine. I had it off, but when the other tire went flat, I put this back on it. So anyway, I got two brand new tires. These little guide wheels for the mower deck. That one's bent, and I took it off, tried to... It's not really the frame, although the frame is bent a little bit. The wheel, the plastic part's cracked. And uh, this one's bent. So I'm going to take those off. I'm not sure how much good they do anyway, but I'm going to take those off. I got two brand new ones. I got the cover plates off of the pulleys. I'm about to pull that belt off and uh, pull the motor deck off and then replace one of the spindles, grease the spindles, and uh, replace the uh, mower blades. So that's what I'm getting into here. Here I'm taking off the pins that hold the mower deck on. dirt I just dug up but look at all it's got a bent piece of metal there it looks like it's got a root caught in there and a whole bunch of wire that might explain it these uh, blades are definitely worn my spindle's a little dry now I know that. I know that one's bad. Yeah, I may have to buy a couple more spindles. doesn't fit. Oh. I'm out here with limited tools. I don't need this to be slipping. Let's try this. Not working. 
Well, I finally got all three blades off. It was a real battle. This third blade, or actually the first blade that I tried, uh, that nut kept stripping. I had to take a grinder and grind some new sides on it so I could get the next smaller size wrench on it. Finally got it off. Look at all that wire. I ran over some Romax. It was all wrapped around that spindle real good. Today is a new day. I got everything disassembled yesterday. Um, I got the pulley off of this one and the spindle is loose. About to put a new spindle in that. And then reassemble it. I'll flip it over and then start putting the uh, blades on. And then the wheels and then put the mower deck back on. Uh, but I got all my tools out, made a mess yesterday, and it just started getting a little too hot. I got to a good stopping point, and so I did. I got this new spindle that I'm trying to put on, and lo and behold, these old one uh, holes are threaded, and the new ones are not. Hmm. I had to run to town to buy some bolts. I have to put a bolt all the way through it because this piece is not threaded. And I'm not sure if the bolts that I got are going to be good enough or strong enough. But that's all I can do for now. to get a shot here of the new blades and the old blades those old blades are certainly worn all right i got the blades on got the new spindle on um next i'm going to try to grease the fittings and then i'm going to change these wheels because they're pretty easy to get to Today's another day since the last clip you saw. I actually greased those spindles, mounted the deck back underneath here. Um, I put the belt on, but I didn't have the right pattern, so it wasn't working correctly. And I had to go and look up the pattern. It actually was pretty close. It was fairly easy to get on. And then since then, I've actually mowed uh, a little bit everything's working much better but I never replaced this wheel and uh, I thought that that might be something I'm going to do today go ahead and replace it I replaced that wheel now I'm going to replace this one I'm going to save it because it's still a good wheel uh, it's the original one that came on the uh, mower when I got it man it's got a couple of deep slits in here but it still holds air and uh, like I said, I had bought two new ones, put them on here. Both of those went flat eventually. So I bought two more. That's one of them. Now I'm going to replace this one. And then I'm going to grease them both and uh, set the mower back down. And I think I'll be done with the mower for now. I really like this hoist. It makes it so nice. The other day, I was on that hill where all the rocks are. And uh, I had picked up about 90% of them, maybe 85. And uh, I was coming up on some rocks, and so I stopped the mower deck. I, I disengaged it. And the blade was spinning, and it stopped right on a, a little rock. I didn't know it, but it wedged in there. And when I went to start it back up, uh, 
the, the mower deck wouldn't engage. Every time you try to engage it, it stalled out the mower, the motor. So uh, I just rolled that puppy in here, set this up, hoisted it up a little higher. Got right in there, I could see the rock. Got a little hammer, tapped it out, lowered it back down, went on my way. Uh, I got that thing for half price, which was $25. And uh, I am really glad I bought it. Just the few times I've used it, it's really been a, a back saver.